all weeks. So let's give them everything we've got. Right behind you, Paul. Form up on Red Five. Hang on back there, aren't you? Show no mercy to these rebels. Keep at it. Structural failure imminent. Finish them off. For the Republic! Joy Fleet, get ahead! Bank hard! Incoming! Pretty sure I got it. You cannot kill Sith. The trailer starts off with a resurgent class Star Destroyer floating through the unknown regions. We can see TIE fighters and a First Order transport in the background, and then Resistance X-Wings sweep into view, attacking the Star Destroyer. We don't know why they're attacking, but I'm assuming it's because it's the First Order and they're the Resistance. And we then see Poe Dameron and his Black X-Wing leading Black Squadron through the attack. And this is a view from inside Poe's cockpit, and you can see a hangar there, which we may be able to fly inside of. We're not sure yet. There's a better shot of Poe's X-Wing. And as it sweeps by, we see Kylo Ren's TIE silencer fly into view, which is the recently revealed secret First Order hero ship that you get bonuses for if you pre-ordered the game. Next, we get some logos, and we move to Endor, above Endor, to the Death Star debris, where we can see Luke Skywalker in his Red 5 and R2-D2, and they're flying above Endor into battle, as you will see in just a moment. This map looks very crowded, almost like the uh, Death Star map from the current game. It's a lot of debris, a lot of just jangled up mess, and you can see a view from inside Luke's cockpit. cockpit. There is a Mon Calamari ship and Star Destroyer. Now I move to Fondor and the Imperial Shipyard. We can see TIE Fighters exiting a hangar and our first shot of Darth Vader's face in the game and his TIE Advanced Mark I will of course be returning as a hero ship and that's no surprise. And we can fly inside of the Imperial Shipyard. So that's adding a fun aspect to the game, a good way to get different kinds of cover, which I'm very excited about. Now we see the Millennium Falcon and the Slave One going up against each other, still above Fondor, I believe. And then we see playable Y-Wings, which is very exciting. That's probably the slower ship for the Rebellion. And they are leading an attack on this Star Destroyer, and we can see the Rebels blowing up this Star Destroyer, which is probably the win scenario for this game mode, or an objective for this game mode, is to blow up the Star Destroyer. And it looks amazing. All the engines flicker out, and it drifts off to the side. And this pan up is very well done. It pans up from the Empire to the Republic as Venator class Star Destroyers jump out of hyperspace. Arc 170s fly by. That is the probably generic ship for the Republic. And now we are above Ryloth, which is a very exciting planet to see. It was only ever in the Clone Wars, so that's cool that they brought that back. And we are fighting a Lucra Hulk battleship or a Joy Control ship. We can see V Wings and Y Wings flying past. This V Wing is unleashing on a Vulture Droid. And we can see some Republic light cruisers there in the background also, so it's a mix of ships instead of just finiters. And this is the inside view of, I believe, to be a V-Wing. And here we have Darth Maul's Scimitar, and it has a cloaking ability. And as it flies by, another great transition, flies by from Ryloth back onto Kamino, where it comes out of invisibility. You can see his engines flickering on. Probably, I mean, I, I guess that's just a cool effect. And we have Kamino, but this is the only one that they show where the battle is in atmosphere, so that might be a cool just change of scene. This is a Kamino research outpost, as you can see, and there are clones running around. Maybe they can get in these gunships and help us out. I don't know. You can see Fenerators in the air. A better shot of the Republic Y-Wings, which you can see are more put together than the Rebellion ones, which are cool. And it fires a torpedo. And we see one of these things whose name I didn't look up, but they're on Kamino, and maybe you can run into them and kill yourself or something. 
This is Yoda and his Jedi Starfighter, a hero that was not expected to be in the Starfighter Assault. I, I know I didn't expect him, because you only see him flying a fighter in Season 6 of The Clone Wars, and he never uses it for attack. And now this Venator is falling onto another Venator Star Destroyer, so these two Star Destroyers are colliding, which if that is a it's like something that happens in the game, that'll be incredible to see. Amazing. And we get the Battlefront 2 logo. And that is all that I spotted in this trailer. There's uh, so much to be excited about. The full reveal for Starfighter Assault is tomorrow, Monday, August 21st. Subscribe to stay updated on all Star Wars Battlefront and Battlefront 2 news. And until the next video, may the Force be with you.